A diamond's liquid value varies by shape due to demand, right? Ultimately, being buyers, expert evaluators of diamonds and jewelry from the public, Diamond Bank's nationwide network has a uncanny ability to know the temperature of the market on any shape at any given time. Regardless of what it's appraised for or valued at, the offer is based on the market at that time. So for example, an appraisal value on a fancy shape, which is anything non-round, right, which is a, you know, for example, a princess cut or marquee or even an emerald cut that today trade much more thinly, meaning there's less demand than something like a round or a cushion. So we can show you the wholesale value on what we can acquire your diamond for from a dealer, and then the discount in which that we offer is based on the demand. So on certain ultra in-demand color and clarity and sizes for rounds, you know we can pay 75 up to 80 percent of the comp that we show you, right? On lower quality or tougher color and clarity combination marquees or princesses, we may be able only to pay 40% of the closest comp because although those comps are out there, there's very little trading activity. And we have to tie our money up in a diamond that we will own perhaps a very long time or even have a recut. So uh, the appraisals that people show, they don't take any of these factors in. All they say is, well, it was appraised at X. Well, you can write something's worth $4 million on a piece of paper, but ultimately it comes down to what is another buyer willing to pay? And with diamonds, you know, rounds have by far the best value retention. But with these fancies, fancy shapes, right? You buy it because you love it, generally not to resell it. And like other women's fashion, they peak in valley in style and demand.